All right. So mm-hmm. question number nine: Aircraft is homing to an NDB. So first thing first, it is homing, and the homing is basically a term that is used to say that you are coming towards the station. And we have seen the technique of homing in the last class. If you remember how the homing technique can be used to get the aircraft back when it's lost. Right. All right. So its aircraft is homing to an NDB on a heading of zero nano zero degrees. That's the heading. With 15 degrees port drift. Drift is 15 degrees port. Find the RBI reading, QDM and QDR. So in this case, the aircraft is homing to a station with 15 degrees of port drift. So what do you think your ADF indication, ADF as an RBI would indicate? Homing with 15 degrees port drift. So since it is homing, you're looking at something around 360 degrees. Moving away, it's around 180. Moving towards the station, it is 360. 15 degrees port drift. So what do you do to the port drift? Your port drift is always subtracted from 360. Right? So it's 15. How much is that? 345 degrees. 345 degrees. So what is your RBI indication? It's going to be 345 degrees. Later, what about the QDM? QDM is heading plus relative bearing. That's uh, right. Relative heading plus the ADF indication. Relative bearing. Heading is 90 Zero. plus plus 345. 345. How much is that? 345 plus 90. That becomes 435 minus 60 minus 360. That's right. That is 075 degrees. 75 degrees of the QDM. Right? If QDM is 75, what is QDM? It's 180 plus minus QDM. That's right. So 180 plus 075, that is 255 degrees. 255 degrees. It's all magnetic because it's QDM. QDM is the magnetic track to the station and QDR is the magnetic track from the station. Let's try drawing a diagram for this picture, for this question. Now this is this kind of an answering is enough for your exam. You necessarily doesn't have to draw any diagram, nothing. You can just answer it like this. But from an understanding point of view, you, we have the NDV here. Uh, the aircraft is homing to the station. Uh, the heading is 90. To draw any line on this board, I need a track. So what is the track of the aircraft? Zero seven five. Zero seven five. That's right. So you see here. Since the aircraft is homing towards the station, your QDM itself is the track of the aircraft. If the aircraft was moving away from the station, the track of the aircraft would be QDR. Right? Because it's moving from the station and QDR is also from the station. Right? So, what is the QDM here? QDM is 075. So, let me draw a general track of 075 that is in this direction. Now, which direction, where should I place the aircraft? To the right or left of the NDB? It's left. To the left of NDB. Homing. On a track of Because the heading is... Yeah, 075 and you're tracking towards. So it has to be... Sorry, the heading is 075 and you have to track towards... Not heading, the track is 075. The heading is 090, yeah. Yeah, the track is 075 and the aircraft is moving towards the station and therefore... The aircraft is here. Now to place the aircraft, I have to look into the heading here. The heading of the aircraft is 90, which means the aircraft is like this. And then tracking towards the station. So basically... So just one question, sir. Yeah. Now, track is 075. That means mm-hmm. the bearing to the station is 075, right? That's right. Exactly. So... So I'm just thinking now if we... Yeah. Of the aircraft to the station. Yes. Track of the aircraft is bearing of the aircraft or station from the aircraft. And not a station as such, it is the track of the aircraft. The bearing could be anything, but the, the track followed by the aircraft. If since it is moving towards the station, we can also say that that's the bearing from the aircraft towards the station. Oh. <laughs> bearing of the actual path followed by the aircraft on the ground. That is the track. 75. What's the heading? Heading, if you check, the heading is going to be again 
uh, 9p. Yes. So this is how the aircraft would be, right? And now it's talking towards the station. The heading is given. Now 15 degrees port drift. So 15 degrees. You can find the track using your heading and drift also. That's also possible. So what's the heading? Heading is 90. What's the drift? The 15 degrees port. 15 degrees port drift means what? This means mm -hmm. that your track is 15 degrees. Port of heading. Port of heading. This is not the actual meaning of drift, but we can we can understand drift in this manner as well, right? So track is 15 degrees port of uh, heading. So if track is 15 degrees port means 15 degrees left of heading, then track is less than heading. So the heading is 90 minus 15, and you will get 75 degrees. And you can find track in that manner as well, or you can find track by finding the curia. Both the methods are there. Right now, to find the ADF in R RB indication, to understand the RBI indication, you have to probably draw the circle around the aircraft. The ADF needle doesn't matter what, it's always pointing towards the tuned uh, NDB. Right? So, what is the how will you understand the AD RBI reading? Always look at the head of the ADF. If it is an RBI, it will be zero. the head is going to be zero, and therefore, from the nose of the aircraft, measure clockwise towards the NDB is what is called as relative bearing. And what's the relative bearing? The total is 360. What is this angle here? 15. 15 degrees of drift. Measured from the heading towards the track, it is a drift of 15 degrees. Therefore, this relative bearing is going to be 360 minus 15. This is exactly what we did here. What is it? Yeah. 360 minus 15, which is 345. And that is going to be your RBI indication, 345. And how will the pilot see this? So as far as the pilot is concerned, you have the aircraft here and you have a dial. The head of the dial being an RBI is zero. And the needle is going to point towards the NDB indicating 345. What about the RMI indication? Heading will be 090. So ADF as an RMI, head of the dial will be the heading of the aircraft, which is 090. Both will look exactly the same. So needle is going to exactly point in the same direction. But now, and the needle is being moved by an amount equal to relative bearing. So if you remember, I told you that RBI or RMI doesn't matter. It always measures relative bearing and turns the needle by an amount equal to relative bearing. But the difference is what is indicated at the, by the RMI and RBI. That is the only difference. And how do we incorporate the difference? By printing zero on the head of RMI, RBI and heading. Uh, as the head of the RMI. So again, a relative bearing of what's the relative bearing? 345. Relative bearing of 345 measured from 0 will read 345. And the same relative bearing of 345 measured from a heading of 90 will read how much? 5, 5. Hey, uh, sorry, 0, 7. 0, 0, 7, 5. Yes, Deepika? Back to the station. Which is a QDM, yes. Uh, just one question with the RMI, sir. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the head is reading, the, uh, it's showing us the heading 0900. Yes. Okay, yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. It's the heading of the aircraft. So as you, as you turn the aircraft, as you roll over bank the aircraft, as the heading changes, this keeps on changing. But this will never change. It's always zero. And as you have as you've seen before, the RBI has nothing to do with uh, the heading of the aircraft. Right? Therefore, that is the uh, QDM. Now, an added advantage of RMI is that if you look at the tail of the RMI needle, what does the tail indicate? That's going to indicate yeah. QDR, which is 255. And that advantage is not there for RBI. RBI, the tail is indicating and, and not a significant value at all. Right? This is how the pilot would see that.